to Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created the magnificent Jose, that is America. Radio Beacon to Radio Beacon. I have a dream to be. The Change has come to America. Believe it. Not knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Turn up your mind. I'm like a smart person. I'm like the super genius of all time. Donald Trump loves to brag about how smart and mentally fit he is. President Trump revealing that he took a cognitive test. I aced the test. Doctors, said that's an unbelievable thing. Rarely does anybody do what you just did. The truth, Don is dumb. Yeah, I, I had a mask on. I sort of liked the way I look. Looked like the Lone Ranger. Former Defense <laughs> Secretary Jim Mattis claims Donald Trump has the understanding of a fifth or sixth grader. Former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly called Trump an idiot. And Rex Tillerson? You still haven't denied that you called him a moron. As president, he's ah. failed at every subject. His handle on history? 1775, our army ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. What about English? I had the best words. Suck rockers. Stink singers. Bipartisan solutions. I tested positively toward negative. His grasp on geography is no better. We're building a wall in Colorado. Colorado? Belgium is a beautiful city. And when it comes to science, oh. Trump's arrogance and stupidity are now killing us on a mass scale. Relax. It's going to sort of just disappear. I feel good about it. All of it is just a feeling. We're very much going to put pressure on governors to open the schools. Is the man who has failed at everything who you want making decisions for your child's future. Oh, for God's sake. Yes. Yes. And America gets it. Yes. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday. 13,000 new cases reported just in Florida today. Oh, God. Um, yes, we're in trouble, but the president decides that the best use of his time is trashing Anthony Fauci and sitting at the resolute desk, at the resolute desk, with an assortment of Goya products, an assortment of Goya. Do you know what Goya is? Um, if you're a white supremacist, you probably don't. If you're a Trump supporter for that matter, maybe you don't. Um, you'll find it in the ethnic aisle in your grocery store. If Trump supporters find Goya products in the ethnic aisle uh, in their grocery stores, this, ladies and gentlemen, will forever change the way casseroles are made for all time. Just saying. Why was he sitting with the Goya products? Uh, he was sitting with the Goya products because just like my pillow dude, they he's been inviting uh, you know uh, brand people, you know people that sell brands like my pillow and Goya and Abbott and you know tests that we never saw, we will never see point of service tests, all this stuff. Anyway, Goya Beans was invited to the Rose Garden for that rambling, insane trip through Donald Trump's dumbass brain, right? They invited uh, the why because the Goya man would genuflect in front of the Trump he would praise God for Donald Trump. He would thank God for Donald Trump. He would thank Donald Trump for Donald Trump. Okay, and so the CEO of Goya, his name is uh, Robert Unanew. Unanew? I'm guessing there's a tilde in there. I don't know. Uh, he went to the White House and praised Trump. We're all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump who is a builder. And that's what my grandfather did. He came to this country to build, to grow, to prosper. And so we have a, an incredible builder, and we pray. We pray for our leadership, our president, and we pray for our country that we will continue to prosper and, and to grow. Okay, so what happened there was this... I don't know if you know the origin of this, but Julian Castro from Texas started on the Twitter, which, by the way, I was locked out of yesterday. Twitter got hacked by some Bitcoin scandal. Uh, you know, it was just amazing. So, hey, let's just vote online. Oh, yeah. 
That's why you can't vote online, okay? Anyway, it was hacked, and you couldn't respond, and some guy was calling me, you know, an ugly old broad and said I was, uh, you know, uh, just vile to look at, and, and that, I, what did he call He called me an old lady with bangs. <laughs> All right. It's probably the most truthful thing he ever tweeted. Now, I mean, what it is what it is, right? So, uh, but I wanted to respond to him, and then there was another guy who said, uh, "Here's, you know, this uh, this clip of um, Joe Biden that goes around where he's talking about his hairy legs for some weird reason. It's an out of context thing, where he's talking about hairy legs. I don't know. So, um, he wanted to leave that, you know, on my Twitter feed, and so I wanted to tweet him back." Um, you know, photos of, he wrote, here's, here's uh, a video of Biden talking about his hairy legs. And so I wanted to tweet him back, okay, here's some pictures of Donald Trump with pedophiles, Epstein and Maxwell, right? And it wouldn't let me uh, answer. So I had to take abuse yesterday without being able to respond. And I know I shouldn't, but it's so much freaking fun. I just, I, I love doing it. Anyway, so we had this, uh, so Julian Castro got on Twitter and he started a campaign to boycott Goya products, just like, you know, uh, doofus my pillow dude, right? And he called it hashtag Goy away, <laughs> which I mean, if you come from my background, it's kind of ugly. But anyway, uh, go away, you know, like go away, go away. Okay. And so this prompted Ivanka, Ivanka, um, who I'm sure is a fan of beans. Yeah, I, ca I can see Ivanka just shoveling beans down her throat with some rice every night and a tortilla. Yeah, I'm sure. And then she probably sits in her limo, rolls up the windows and, you know, waits for the one that lingers. Yeah, that's the good one. No, I'm, I, and so uh, she actually tweeted out that she is a fan of the beans and posed with it, holding it like a spokesmodel there, you know, which looked about as natural as if Ivanko became the spokesperson for Jerry Curl. Dark and Lovely. Remember Dark and Lovely? I remember Dark and Lovely. It was right next to Dippity Doo. <laughs> which literally made your hair break. I mean, it was so, it was so thick. It was so, uh, it was so tough, okay? Because what it did was it sealed your hair. It sealed it like in a glue-like, super glue fashion. And then you could actually break it. <laughs> I know, I had that hair. Uh, now, of course, you know. It's keratin, it's straightened. But anyway, uh, so somebody should actually ask whether she prefers Mafungo or Tostones, do you know? Because she was the spokesperson on the Twitter for the Goya. And then Donald Trump decided, I need to do it too. So he sat himself in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of, of racial tension, in the middle of unemployment skyrocketing, in the middle of a recession, which is a depression for some people, which in the middle of, of, of unemployment benefits of $600 running out in two weeks, in the middle of all this, he decided, because he's so smart, everybody, he's a stable genius, you know, that he would sit at the Resolute desk and he would, tw I think he Instagrammed because he could, no one could tweet last night. Anybody with a blue check mark, you know, we're verified accounts. We couldn't tweet last night for like three hours. It was very uh, horrible. But anyway, he decided to embrace Hispanic food products, you know, without embracing any of those nasty Hispanic people that bring disease that are rapists and murderers, and some are nice people. So that's what he did. He took a picture of himself at the Resolute desk with a bunch of Goya products, which I'm sure he's now shared with the hired help at Mar-a-Lago because he will never eat that. He eats charred steak with ketchup on it. You know that taco bowl thing? Yeah, I mean, see, and, and the beautiful thing is if, you, if you're good at Photoshop, you know what I would have done last night? And I couldn't tweet. This was driving me crazy. But I really, really wanted to, like, uh, juxtapose a picture of Donald Trump at the Resolute desk with an assortment of Goya products with a picture of the refrigerated morgue trucks pulling up at hospitals in Texas, for God's sake. You see what I mean? I, it's just... It, it, and by the way, it clearly violates ethics violations, but beyond that, 
violates human decency. Clear for takeoff. Randy Rhodes Air Force. Air 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 Force. Force. RandyRhodes.com. There are a plethora of platforms. RandyRhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.